and today is going to be an amazing day because it is a work from home day for me technically it's not i'm supposed to be in the office tuesday through thursday but i haven't been feeling well since my move so i've been working remotely to see how my day was today After making sure no urgent work emails came in for me overnight, I can dissociate on the bathroom floor for a few minutes before starting my day. At 8 a.m. Monday through Friday, my phone automatically goes into do not disturb mode until 8 p.m. I'm going to go to the art studio. Where my head is. I have it all to myself. I hate when I forget my Apple Watch. It's like, does this workout even count? Oh, we took our toes. It's four, three, Now I'm gonna take you guys on a tour of my building's amenities. To the reformer studio. I definitely have to try to snag one of the classes. Space is limited, so they tend to book pretty quickly. Pretty nice. Yeah, I love mirrors, so. Love it. I don't know what's in here, let's find out. This is the gym. You guys want to see the rest of the amenities really quick? I'll take you guys. This is the right way. Or Oh, hang on, guys. Let me go look at the map. Well, I was on the wrong floor. I need to make two floors down. So negative one. Negative one. So there's the bowling alley. Probably will never see me in here, but. I gotta just show you guys. Also, a golf simulator. I'm gonna come back and give you guys a better tour. But there is a basketball court. I'll be back to show you guys that. It's one of my favorite rooms. So vibey in here. Oh. Smells really good in here, too. A library. I don't really see any books, but yep. And now I'm really gonna take you guys to my favorite, favorite room. Oh, there's also this pool room. I mean, this is not my favorite room, but it's pretty cool. I'll just take you guys inside really quickly. Pretty cool in here. but not my favorite room yet. Cigar room. Why I wasn't expecting it to smell like smoke in here, but it's really nice in here. So this is my actual favorite room, the wine cellar. This is where I'll be hosting a live and in-person vision planning session for the entrepreneurs in my C-suite membership community. I'm so excited. This is our first quarterly planning session and we are going to be setting our intentions and our goals for quarter four and obviously getting to network and socialize with each other and drink wine so it's going to be really fun and we are going to be getting an insider's behind the scenes look at it because i'll be sharing snippets of this really exciting day in an upcoming vlog so stay tuned for that I came home to my dog not happy with me because both my husband and I left him at home. I mean, he was probably only alone for like 10 minutes, but I just had to bribe him by giving him treats. Are you happy now, Bubba? Our apartment, if you haven't seen our tour, yeah. The boxes are still here. Just ignore that for now. This corrector spray, which is absolutely clutch if you work from home and you have a very reactive dog like this little boy 
this is just a little spritz of air. It sounds like you're letting air out of a tire and it gets him to stop the barking. Totally harmless, highly, highly, highly recommend it. My brain is clearly not awake yet because I just filmed the first part of this vlog in vertical format. I don't think I'm cut out for this, to be honest. This just might not be for me. I am going to not pretend that I actually eat breakfast because most days I really don't. So I eat my cigar breakfast for dinner and oh, I swear my brain is just not working with me today. I eat my cigar breakfast for dessert and then that's my dinner from cigar. But so. what I will have instead is some pineapple for breakfast. Latte is ready to go. I cannot begin to tell you how amazing it is to have a dedicated home office after over a year of working out of a very small closet. Yes, you heard that correctly. I worked out of a closet. I could not be any more grateful for all of this space and this freaking amazing view that will never get old. Very much clean catch up after taking a few days off to move and to recover from my unexpected illness. I mean, is an illness ever expected? I'm far from finish with how I want everything to look in here, but I'm a big minimalist. So for me, this is this is just good as is right now. I don't really want to clutter my workspace up too much just because I get really distracted when things are really messy. So keeping things as simple as possible is just best for me. As you can see, I have my iPad here, my work laptop, and then my personal laptop, and then my ultra wide monitor, which I cannot stress enough how amazing this is. This monitor has been a game changer for me. I know it's much more aesthetic to have the iMac, but from just a practical perspective, having this ultra wide monitor is amazing. It's great for everything, it's great for editing videos. It's great for working and having 40 million windows open, Word docs, whatever. So I love it. Everything that I have that you're seeing here is linked on my Amazon storefront. I haven't just gone around to bringing everything out of boxes yet. So give me a few more weeks, days to just get settled and then I will give you guys a more official home office tour and desk setup. Thankfully, I have no client meetings today, so I decided to wear a fun little outfit. I drink wine and I post things. Accurate. Because my dog gets distracted and bored really easily and is also super reactive, I have to find creative ways to keep him occupied as I work so that he doesn't bark when I'm taking important work calls. This treat dispensing toy that we promoted in a TikTok ad a few days ago has been a game changer because I pop a few treats in there and he can just go at that for hours and he is occupied and not barking. If you are a working from home dog parent, you know how essential it is to keep your dog occupied and this is one enrichment toy that I can definitely vouch for. I realize I never told you guys what exactly I do. I'm a corporate lawyer and I work with investment clients. There is so much going on with that. It is very demanding, fast paced. As a result, my day to day is very unpredictable. There's always a fire drill, always something going on. I work every single day of the week. Some days by choice, some days not by choice. I work with a lot of international teams. I have sometimes very late nights or early mornings, depending on how you want to look at it, because I am working with teams in Europe and it just makes sense for me to be available and get things out during those hours. Being able to work remotely gives me a lot of flexibility that I really appreciate, which 
when everything else in my life seems to be so dependent on my job and the unpredictability of that, having some flexibility, at least in terms of how and where I work, really makes a big difference. So I'm glad that we're not 100% back in the office. I'm enjoying the moments that I do work from home because I get so much more done. Next week's vlog will be a working from the office walk so obviously i'm not showing you where i work because no but you will get to see my commute and all the fun stuff that i have to do when it comes to working from the office so stay tuned for that oh this is just i really should have started once i go to youtube years ago years ago and just been living a whole different life right now Wait, like, are you bored? You not have enough work? People who just just checking in on this, kindly following up, clearly don't have enough work because I am too busy to even do the thing that you're following up with me about. See, this is another reason why I need to work from home because I can't have these outbursts in public. And because I've worked from home, more than I've actually worked in the office. I sometimes just don't even realize that I'm saying things out loud and it's in everyone's best interest for me to just continue working from the confines of my own apartment where things are safe and no one can hear me but my dog. People always ask me, how do you do it? How do you keep going? Aren't you burning out? How are you not tired? One, I am tired, but fear of missing deadline and greater motivator than coffee. That's how I keep going. Oh, that was not a cute sneeze. Oof, excuse me. Oof, I guess I am not well. I may not be going into office next week after all. I'm just, my brain clearly never woke up. So, I'm still struggling to get complete sentences out. Again, another reason why I really don't need to be in an office because no one needs to really witness this. Except for all of you too. I actually have to go into the office next week because I am picking up my new laptop. This baby has been through pandemic and way worse. So I definitely need a new laptop. I'm sitting on the bathroom floor, dissociating for a little bit. I am in my husband's bathroom, which has the heat flooring definitely need to renegotiate this agreement because my bathroom is so cold but whenever things get hot at work and i'm getting a little bit overwhelmed because emails are coming in lots of follow-ups check-ins and it's just a lot of moving parts i take a step away for a few minutes collect my thoughts calm myself down and just breathe because I used to push through those moments when things are just way too hot and I wasn't really being very efficient because I'm just trying to get things out the door and not really stopping to just breathe and think. I am going to be in here for a few more minutes. Sometimes when things are really hot or I'm tired, I take a power nap for 30 minutes to an hour. I know an hour really probably isn't even a power nap at that point, but each his own. I have really early mornings and late nights, so it's about sustainability, people. And whatever is going to put you in the best state of mind and make sure that you don't burn out is whatever you need to do. And that's another reason why, again, I'm a huge proponent of working from home and working remotely, just because you do have that flexibility to take a power nap when things are getting really hot or sit on the bathroom floor if you have heated flooring it's just things like that that really keep me not insane <laughs> i am insane it allows me to really kind of just realize that my job isn't my entire life it's a huge part of my life i'm very grateful for it and in actuality, in order for me to do a better job and be the best associate that I can be, I do need to protect myself and make sure that I do not burn out because I cannot afford to burn out. So, 
little things like this that break up my day are so critical to my overall well-being and making sure that this is sustainable so I just needed a moment. I just got an email from my firm. Well, to be honest, I got this email a few days ago, maybe weeks, that I am nine credits short for my CLE compliance. If you aren't familiar, lawyers have to take a certain number of credits. We call them CLE or continuing legal education. And there are various categories that you have to take these courses in over the course of I believe for New York I have to apply or pay my registration every two years from that you actually took the courses so one of the benefits of being in a big law firm is that there are these internal professional development people who have access to all my information so they make sure that I stay on track and that I do not miss any of these compliance check-ins. The industry that I'm in, laws are changing a lot. So it really is imperative on all associates, regardless of your level, to really stay on top of the changes so that we can provide the best advice to our clients possible. So as annoying as these CLE requirements can be, they are really necessary and it's a good way to just make sure that as a lawyer, you are continuing your legal education. Just because you finished law school and you're practicing doesn't mean that you shouldn't continue to learn new things outside of practice. Great because I'm learning more about my job and also fulfilling my CLE attorney requirements for New York and New Jersey. So it's Let's kill two birds with one stone. I am all about working smarter and not harder. So oh, I totally forgot that I have this market research call with the founder of a startup that is focused on creators and creator economy. I've had to reschedule it already once this week just because work, and that's in five minutes. I'm really not going to be taking my power nap today. It's fine. It's fine. We're good. I, mean, I like these opportunities to do things like this again this breaks up my day and it's just really fun to get to see what is going on in the startup world when it comes to creators as a lot of times these startup founders are not creators themselves so i definitely see this as a great opportunity especially if it's something a resource or a tool or an app that can also help me i think it's in my best interest i'm obviously getting paid as well it's in my best interest to provide some feedback just so that the startup founders can put out tools and apps and whatever resources that creators actually need. So I actually really do enjoy when I get these calls from CEOs to pick my brain. I'm doing well. It's been a busy week. <laughs> um, no, I'm actually a full-time corporate lawyer. So that's what I do. And so the social media stuff is really just part-time. Yes, thank you. It, it definitely feels like it's a lot going on all the time, but I think yeah. most people just assume that I do something related to social media full-time or my business, but those are both part-time. Well, for a while, I felt that both of my accounts were very disjointed. So my YouTube actually brings everything together. And for example, like today I'm, I'm filming a day in the life video where it's just my entire day just working from home and doing the various things that come up. And then I'm also incorporating the corporate humor that I have on TikTok. And then I also have just like the part-time CEO and the part-time content creator as well. So when I say my niche is all of the things and it's not really boxed into any one particular niche, but it's really bringing together the different elements of my life. So it's really, I would say my niche is just being a multi-passionate. Yeah, I can see it. So how would someone actually be able to, to send the payment? So wouldn't the person who is sending the need to create an account? I can already see friction with that, like just before you go any further, just because I think about TikTok specifically, like the audience is very much like, I don't want to leave the app. And I think anything that's not native to the app that requires people to leave 
is going to be very hard, especially if it's going to be something that requires them to do it preemptively. The biggest thing people would say is, why not just use the in-app feature? I just see that being a huge point of friction for people. Like it's an additional step that they would probably see as not being necessary just because the app already provides it. It's been such a long day and my day is still not over yet. I will definitely be working for at least two and a half more hours. This is the thing when it comes to being a multi-passionate and getting everything done. You can carve out hours for breaks and other things in life that you have going on, but I have a responsibility to my job first, so I need to make sure that things that need to get out today definitely will get done. So if that means me staying up a little bit later because I took a few more extra breaks today, then it's what you have to do. But it's definitely gonna be a very long night. Oh gosh. But this is this is real life. This is this is as realistic as it gets. So many unexpected things that come in. I just had some urgent emails come in on things that I was not expecting to get for a few more days and just more fire drills, but that's the nature of this job. Some days are better than others today, as you saw. It was a little challenging, but I enjoyed living my lifestyle and my job finances my lifestyle, so. We are finally done working for the day. That's a freaking lie. I am just taking a break to finally have dinner and I still need to edit this YouTube vlog that will be, well, by the time you're watching it, it's already up, so never mind. But it's been a lot. I have so much respect for vloggers because this day in the life vlogging is not easy by any stretch. Because I didn't grow up in the U.S. Well, I grew up in the U.S., but I didn't grow up in the mainland U.S. So a lot of these American sayings and whatever, I'm always questioning myself. Like, is that the right thing or is that wrong? So also doesn't help that I am having complete brain fog from just having the longest day ever. Been up way too early. This is the Saqqara Meal to Jour. For a Disney professional like myself, I definitely cannot tell you how clutch it's been having Saqqara instead of having to order not so healthy delivery options because I wait too late to remember that I need to eat dinner. Literally, just dump everything into this pan. I want every last little bit. Hi, why are you out here? You already had your dinner. This is mommy's dinner. Stop being greedy. I love getting to pretend that I am somewhat of a chef, even though I don't have to worry about the prep. I'm still technically cooking something, right? Mm. I wish you guys could smell it. It is just so freaking good. Let me tell you about my favorite fall drink in the world. Gin apple cider. It has to be with Empress. 1908 gin. Not sponsored. They were a brand partner. Mm about a year and a half ago on Instagram, but this is the only gin that I drink. I think a lot of it has to do with the aesthetics. Okay, that was definitely a generous pour. It's like happy hour somewhere. Look how beautiful this is. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. This is the first of many day in my life vlogs that will be just going through. Uh, realistic normal day well there's no normal every day is different but this will be the first of many 
day in my life as a corporate lawyer vlogs so stay tuned for that i'm going to aim to post them at least once a week next week's vlog is probably going to be airing on wednesday because i'm going into the office on tuesday as i mentioned so i'm going to vlog about that well i spent the entire day with you guys and it's been fun but i need to go unwind a little bit enjoy this amazing dinner this wonderful cocktail and then get back to editing this vlog so until next time go binge all of my shorts because they're amazing and have a great weekend why am i not a partner yet if everyone can't get anything done without coming to me and asking me questions all the time clearly this group needs me I don't see how I'm not a partner. I should just be able to make decisions on my own. I don't think I need to sign off at this point. I think I know what I'm doing. No. Nope.